Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm Buffy and in this video I have five projects under five dollars and they are all fall Kirkland dupes. So I hope that you will enjoy this video and also I'm a part of an open playlist that I will have the link down below of five under five that we do monthly and I will have more information on that later on in the video. So right now let's just get to those dupes. Kirkland's had this sign here for $29.99 and I knew I could uh, dupe this to look the same if not better. <laughs> and so now I'm using a Dollar Tree pumpkin, the famous pumpkin, and just taking everything off and trying to get as much of that glitter off as possible because you don't want that like getting everywhere after you've got it all on your wall and stuff. So I'm just taking a ruler and just um, cutting it in half, not cutting, but drawing a line down the half part of the pumpkin. And I'm painting the bottom part with white Rust-Oleum linen white paint, chalk paint. And I gave that two coats. So after it dried, I bought this um, wood looking tack paper from Amazon. I'll have that link down below and um, just tracing it out and I first traced it like this thinking it was or no I traced it the wrong way and now I'm doing it the right way um, so you want to make sure the direction of your pumpkin is the right way that the tack paper is going to stick so then I'm just making sure it fits and getting everything trimmed up And this tack paper is really high quality and easy to work with. See how I cut the wrong side on the other end? <laughs> Just making sure it's straight. And now just measuring to make sure it fits right before I put it down. So just take the tack paper off, or the backing of it off, and just slowly tack it down. And you want to smooth it out as you go so there's no air bubbles. And it turned out really neat. So then I went to my silhouette and I just cut out the letter H because my last name is Hildebrand. So um, I wanted one for our family wall. And so I just cut that out and now I'm just putting it on the front here. So then that leaf that we took off at the beginning, I'm just painting with um, I can't remember the name of this color of green but it's from folk art and it's just acrylic paint and I'm just giving that a good two coats to cover that silver and now here I'm just going in with some white acrylic paint and just like highlighting those grooves of where the leaf indents are and then just kind of dry brushing it on to give it more detail. It turned out pretty. So now I'm taking my twine and just, um, I've got like kind of a thinner strand of, of twine. And I probably should have did this at the end, but I did it before I put a backing on it. And so, I'm just taking the twine and wrapped it around twice and kind of a crisscross look. And then I kind of had a mistake on that side where the tack paper I cut too short, so that leaf just covered it up. <laughs> and now the Kirkland one doesn't have the holes to hang things, but I thought why not let it, you know, give it some more detail. It looked really cute just tying a knot into the twine and then putting it through the hole to hang it. And there we go. 
and now here's the backing I was talking about I just took some Dollar Tree craft paper and I'm just um, tracing it out with a, an X-Acto knife and making sure it's all trimmed out where the leaf was sticking out and I'm just using some Mod Podge to put it on and then when you put this on you want to use something to straighten it out to smooth it otherwise you're gonna have the bubbles from the Mod Podge so I just took my silhouette scraper and just did that on it and it smoothed it out pretty nice and then I'm just tracing there to make sure it it doesn't show through on the front side all the way around about that playlist it's five under five DIY challenge and this month is farmhouse decor and it is hosted by Missy from Crafty Cove DIY and Emily from Farm Charm Chic and this month guest host is Shannon from Shannon's Crafty DIYs and there'll be a playlist link down below so you won't want to miss it go over and check out their videos right after you watch mine and if you're new to my channel from the playlist, welcome and I hope you enjoy. And if you enjoy this video, I would hope that you would consider to subscribe. So now let's get back to the video. This next dupe is $64.99 for two of these trays. And I thought I could do something with one of these metal trays or metal signs from Dollar Tree. I had seen these last year and when I saw that on Kirkland's website, I thought, oh my gosh, I bet they have them this year too. So it's a different size, obviously, but it still is similar and it turned out really cute. So I just um, took the, the spike thing off of the sign and then I twisted those flower or flowers <laughs> leaves around to the other side so that it will match like the other um, actual original and painted it gave it a good coat and here I'm just putting some black chalk paint in a bag to make it easier to uh, paint these wood uh, beads and these will be the legs of the tray I love this this DIY it turned out so cute so here I'm giving the paint on the other side even though this yellow was pretty cute it was still too yellow um, and I think if I did another one I would do more of a, a really faint yellowish like a country yellow that would be really cute so now I'm just dry brushing some black on the um, details of it to make it look more farmhouse just like the original it has a ton of cute uh, definition in there to bring out and doing it on the other side too so you can see it and here I'm gluing on I didn't show that part but I twined some of the wire twine from Dollar Tree around my finger to make it um, like a ring like a loop of sorts and then I glued that on because the original had something similar so now I'm using some hot glue and some uh, super glue gorilla super glue and putting that all on and it was sticking <laughs> and I arranged them before I did the glue so I knew exactly where they would land and it worked out perfect. For 
this next dupe, it's a pumpkin um, out of wood, but I'm using reed. And they wanted $59.99 for that pumpkin, which I could make this for a lot cheaper. <laughs> it's not exact, but it's pretty close. And I bought this reed from Amazon, and I'll have that link down below. And I made these roughly, I think about 14 inches long. And I'm just now gluing each strand together to form a circle and I'm using my Dollar Tree clamps here to hold it down in between drying time just for a few seconds to let it dry and then um, I did four of these so that it would have eight uh, look like eight strands around if that makes sense and so then when I'm all done in, with this um, it didn't look like the do or like the original so I wet it and formed it to the way I wanted it which is nice this is works really well easy to work with and I want to start making some baskets so this is perfect for it and here I'm just using my clamp my husband bought me from Harbor Freight and letting that dry so then I knew that it, it was really light um, so it's not going to hold up very well on its own and it needed a stand so I just cut a, a small piece of paint stick to stick to the bottom and then I found out later and you'll see later on that that still was too light and I needed more of a base so I used some tumbling blocks and glued those together for the base and you'll see that in a minute but I just let that dry and then I went out to my yard and found a branch and just cut it down. And then later on you'll see I cut it even further down because that was too long. So here's the tumbling blocks. And just glued that to the bottom. And it looks cute just the way it is. And you can do these any color you want, which is really awesome. So now I'm just getting some Waverly antique wax and I watered it down so it wasn't so strong and I'm just going on the inside and the outside of the reeds and the bottom base part and then afterwards I molded it like I said and it turned out so pretty So this next wall hanging was $44.99 on the Kirkland's website and I knew what I could do with it and that I could make this almost just as, as good. So I went to the Dollar Tree and got these willow wreath forms and I'm just, I only used one which I thought I would need two, but I only used one and I'm just taking it apart and now I'm just forming out the pumpkin shape and putting them similar to the original and how I want them to look. So once I figured out that shape, I wanted like four strands on each side to form that pumpkin, like the original. So I got it all formed and then I cut out several pieces about maybe three inches long of the wire. Just you can buy floral wire at the Dollar Tree as well and it's easy to work with but mine I have had it forever I don't even know where I got mine but it's the same stuff so now I'm just um, connecting it together on the top and the bottom and then I had gone through all of the areas that I want to connect together to stay down and I twined it with the wire all the way around and now I'm just clipping off that excess wire so you can't see it. I love this this one. This one is my favorite. And that wire is nice because you can't see it. And there's the form. And I'm just reinforcing it there with some pliers. So now that I have the form down, I am using some Dollar Tree 
flowers and just cut up a few different ones and put them together and I just um, twined it together with that wire again and made a spray like thing for the center there just making sure it's all connected and now I'm getting this uh, black and white checkered um, buffalo check I guess ribbon from Dollar Tree I never get it and this year I finally was there when they just barely put one roll out <laughs> or there was only one roll left one of the two and I grabbed it and it looks so cute so now I'm just hot gluing that down so it doesn't stay in the center part and it lays flat and I also put some more of that um, the branch part on the top to make like a stem and then I'm just doing some twine here to make a hanger I love it it turned out so beautiful let me know what you think For this last dupe, it was $24.99 for this wall hanging and this pizza pan from Dollar Tree was perfect for it. So I decided that I would just get this out of my stash that I had on hand and gave it a good uh, coat of my Rust-Oleum linen white paint. And if I were to do this again, I would definitely spray paint it because it's easier and it would go on smoother. Um, I didn't have any on hand, so I had to use my chalk paint in the can. So I gave it two good coats and now I went to my silhouette and printed out the same exact um, saying and picture. And now I'm just putting it down on the pan. And here's the bottom part. This one turned out really super cute too. Oh, and when you're pulling it off, be very careful because it pulled up some paint. And even after letting the paint dry overnight, it still pulled it up because that transfer paper is pretty sticky. So just be careful. And I had this vinyl from uh, Etsy shop that was really cute, that checkered orange. It was so fall looking, so I used that for the center instead of just plain old orange. And I think it turned out great. See how some of the paint pulled up? I'm just touching it up there to make sure it covered it up. And now I'm just making a hanger for it to hang on the wall out of some twine. Just made knots on each end and cut it down and glued it on. And you can do a clear coat on it or Mod Podge, either way. So I hope you enjoyed this video and don't forget that playlist down below and also comment and let me know which is your favorite. And please consider to subscribe. Also like and share my video. That helps me out a lot. I hope that you enjoyed this video. And I hope that you will return. Thank you and have a great day.